update, the television company Western Armenia present the news for today. President Armenia Gavrahamian's message on the occasion of 19th anniversary of the establishment of National Council of Western Armenia. Sons of Western Armenia, Tigran Sahakyan. On the issue of Armenians of Western Armenia. Artsakh Women's Product Exhibition Mart was held in Yerevan. New details from the court session in the case of the fire that killed 15 soldiers. After 45 years, Mina Zavetistan's works were exhibited in Gyumri. Support Western Armenian TV. In the memory of the words of Leonid Adgalian and the soul of Western Armenia, establishment of National Council of Western Armenia, uh, why was the Armenian National Council of Western Armenia established? To stop the destruction of the Armenian peoples of Western Armenia. Why was the Declaration of Armenian National Council of Western Armenia announced in Shushi in the memory of Andranik? As in summer of 1918, the Turkish troops seized the northern part of the Persian territory, creating a ground for expanding the advance to Paku. Having seized the Iranian cities of Maku, Salmast, uh, Tauris, Serab, Ardabil and Khoi, the Turks intended to send new troops to Persia via the Alexandrapol Julfa railway to attack Paku. But Andanix courts cut the railway in uh, Nahijevan and captured the Turkish garrison in Julfa. In Khoya region, Armenian formation dealt an unexpected blow to the Turkish army stationed in northwest Iran, which forced the Turks to stop the attack on Baku and sent significant forces against Andanik. The battles of Khoyas lasted for several days. The Turks suffered from heavy losses, but the constantly arriving of additional forces posed a threat to the Armenians' division. Under those conditions, Andranik was forced to pull Hoya and, breaking through the blockade, Julfa retreated. Then, under the pressure of the numerically superior to Turkish troops, the commander Andranik was forced to stretch Nahidjevan and cross Nagorno Zangezur, aiming to break through Artsakh and reach Paku and block the way of the retreating Turkish army. Some events took place during the month of December before the British command's position on the Artsakh issue became clear. On December 8, Captain Sari Thompson's representative, along with an officer, arrived in Shushi in four passengers' cars, each one with four soldiers. According to other sources, 15 English soldiers entered Shushi for the first time. The captain said that he came to help the poor people of Karabakh and establish peace between the two nations, and that for the same purpose, an English army will arrive soon. One of Seredi's first actions was that uh, he demanded that Shushi's newly arrived regiments disarm and hand over their weapons to him. The Provisional Council presented the history of establishment of the regime and rejected his request. Although, according to the terms of the Mudros Armistice Agreement on October 13, 1918, between the Elias and Turkey, Lemnos Island, Mudros, the Turkish army had to leave Transcaucasian, but the reality was different. Andranik applied to Artsakh command with the order to stop the military operation. The Armenian side obeyed the, the directive in December 1918 because of this Shushia remained under confiscation, but 86 years later. What connection does the armistice of uh, years ago on December 18 in 1970 have with the establishment of National Council of Armenia, so Western Armenia? Without Yerzenga's armistice in December 18, 1970, there would never have been conditions for peace to recognize the right of self-determination of Armenians of Western Armenia until independence according to international law. What is the connection between the Russia decree of December 29, 1970 in the new document on January 11, 1918 and the declaration of the right of self-determination of Armenians of Western Armenia? The Declaration of the Rights uh, to Self-Determination of Armenians of Western Armenia present the articles that will enable the application of the Russian decrees and other recognition of the two states. The centenary of the Russian decree, which recognized the right of self-determination of Armenians of Western Armenia until independence, will be an occasion to recall the content of each article. You can get the full information on Declaration of the Right of Self-Determination of Armenian uh, Western Armenian TV on website of Western Armenian.
The Grand Sahakyan was born on January 26, 2000 in Vartanashen, village of Aramavir, Mars. In 2007, he attended the first class of the village school. He was the main character of the school events, touching and cheering everyone up many times with patriotic songs. At the same time, he attends sports groups, swimming, boxing, and football. During the Republican boxing competition, he took honorable positions. When he finished his high school in 2019, he decided to become the performer of his nation's unmixed songs. And before that, he was the soloist of the Zovinar Haratunia Zangak Song Studio of Komitas Palace of Culture in Echmiadzin. At the same time, he was participating in musical instrumental keyboard lessons. In 2018, from July 27, August 3, he participated in the Orange Kobulet International Contest, festival held in Kobulet, Republic of Georgia, representing the city of Echmiadzin, and took the second place with the song of Armenians Unite. He received letters of thanks from the municipality of Echmiadzin for perfect performance and for keeping high the patriotic spirit. He has performed for many times in various military units in July 2019. He was admitted to the Armenian Singing Preparatory Department as well of the State Conservatory named after Komitas. And in July 2020, after successfully passing the entrance exams, he was admitted to the first year student of the same department. On August 14 of the same year, he was drafted into the army Sardin Martakert, and from September 3 in Paris, the Grand sang the original song by Gusan Haikazuni, Monte Melkonyan, in the yard of the military commissariat next to the statue of Tigran the Great on the day of his enlistment in Echmiadzin before leaving for service. For about six days, the recruits participated in the Talish defensive battles, helping the soldiers still alive in Talish break out of the siege. By securing the area on October 2, they helped the soldiers stationed in Matagis, more than 300 people to go out by groups and as soon as possible to escape from the impending encirclement. The boys were saved and more than 10 bravely fighting recruits fell into the siege twice with their commander. Having somehow broken through the circle walking 2025 20, kilometers along the Matagis Martagert road, they fell down under enemy rocket fire. And here immortalized the 18 year old national defenders Tigran Sahakyan, Armen Grikorian, and Nare Geritian. Tigran posthumously was awarded by the Combat Service Medal for his bravery in Corrigan in 2021, in January 21. On May 2020, in 2021, he was awarded by the Six Settlers Defender Medal by military unit. In 2021, by the State Conservatory named after Komitas of Yerevan on October 20. The situation of Armenian representatives of the same delegation become especially difficult when they learn that the Turks have captured Karin and the agreement was signed in brest to return Karz and Ardahan to the Turks. The Turks insist the same delegation to immediately recognize the Brest Treaty and liberate the mentioned regions. The representatives of Transcaucasian in their turn declared that Transcaucasian has not recognized the authority of the Bolsheviks since the first day of the revolution. Therefore, any contrast signed by them is not acceptable to them. The Turk claim was based on the fact that Transcaucasian had not declared it in their independence at the time the brest Treaty was signed. The same delegation presents several points in writing form for expressing their position one of which referred to the right of autonomy of Armenians and other nations in Turkish Ar in Armenia. The Turkish delegation categorically rejects that point, stating that he will not allow to interfere in the internal affairs of his country. During a separate meeting, two options are proposed for solving the problem of Western Armenia, about which you can read on the website of Western Armenia TV. And before that, the video about the event that took place in Western Armenia is available on YouTube channel of Western Armenia TV. With the support of Anna Astvatsatuyan Foundation and the in initiative of the Support Center for Artsakh Mothers NGO, an exhibition fair of Artsakh women's products was held in Yerevan on December 17. The founder of the an NGO Support Center for Artsakh Mothers, Mariam Abrahamian, stated in a conversation with journalist Haikar Artsunyan, saying as follows. The idea of such an initiative was born back in Artsakh during the siege when most people lost their jobs. Uh, we decided because the road was open for a short time and we could still bring something and uh, hold an exhibition fair. Everything was already planned. The march was a few days away, but the road was finally closed. And then we found ourselves in a situation, you know, 
uh, after some time, we realized that we cannot mourn and sit uh, idly by for the rest of our lives. And we need to encourage and give strength to the women of Artsakh. Then we decided to move the project here and we gathered women, entrepreneurs, and as you can see, these are full. We hope that the stalls will be empty by the end of the day. There are 55 participants, but there were more applicants, about 70. We had to choose. The next fair will be bigger and more people will be able to sell their products. We plan to hold the next mart at the beginning of March. He applied. On December 15, the investigation into the fire that took the lives of 50 soldiers continued in the Court of General Jurisdiction of the first instance of Gerhard Kunik region. The cause of the fire by the military commendation, according to the official version, was a violation of the rules for handling gasoline. During the court session, the detention period was extended by three months for the accused Gor Aregyan, Yerishe Hakopian, and Marlene Sarkisyan. The victim, Levon Haradyan, a soldier who was pre present at the accident, continued to testify. However, the injured party is uh, dissatisfied with the investigation of the case. The parents of the soldier don't trust the official version, according to which the main accused is the, in the case, Captain Yereshe Hakopian, poured gasoline into the stove, which caused the fire. Defender Nuray Norikyan told the reporters after the court session that Levon Haradyan's testimony is significantly different from his previous testimony. We used the procedural right. We requested that the pretrial testimonies be published. Uh, moreover, Levon Haradyan's testimony contradicts not only his previous testimony, but also the testimony of other persons. Levon Haradyan says that he does not remember the answers to questions that may sh shed light the circumstances of the case, and therefore his testimonies are highly unbelievable for us," said Norikan. During the previous court sessions, the written evidence were examined, and the victim, Levon Haradyan, testified. All the court hearings took place in a tense atmosphere. The next court session, during which the questioning of uh, Levon Haradyan will continue, and it will take place January 26, 2024. After 45 years, the works of the honored artist of Eastern Armenia, Mina Zavetisyan, were exhibited in Gyumri. The exhibition dedicated to Mina Zavetisyan's 95th birthday under the title The Artist Who Creates Colors was opened in the exhibition hall of the Municipality Hall. The exhibition is being held within the framework of the grand competition for Jubilee events under the title of the Painter Creating Colors, announced by the Office of the Governor of Shirak. The whole year has been a year of active activity for the community exhibition hall, and it is extremely important for us to end the year with an exhibition dedicated to Minas Avetisyan's 95th birthday. This exhibition is one of a kind. After 45 years, the works of Minas Avetisyan are being exhibited in Gyumri. Lili Tomaisyan, the head of the Department of Culture and Youth Affairs of the Gyumri, municipally said at the opening of the exhibition, and inviting the people of Gyumri and all the guests to the exhibition. 28 works of the artists from the gold find of the National Gallery of Armenia are presented at the exhibition, which will stay in Gyumri for more than a month. Western Armenian television, being loyal to its principles and viewers, continues its uh, uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news raising on various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. With your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. <laughs>